all back. See, even the deployment has failed, but this has nothing to do with because we selected internal. So this is the reason I ask you to check that. Go ahead and check and create. Then only you will get these issues and you will be able to speak in your interview that what kind of errors you used to get. So if you want to see what is the error, you can check here. No matching cross region public IP address range cloud to be found. Please make sure located cross region public IP. The list for supported home region. See, you can read this, you can Google this, and you can work on this. Because here we are in, in this session, we are not doing any troubleshooting. And so I will not work on this, but I ask you to practice, keep on practicing. So you get these errors. You can simply copy paste this error and you will get the answer. Even if you don't get the answer, you will be able to speak in your interview that, okay, I remember that whenever we try or we created uh, this kind of error message we get, or this is what uh, happens, or this is a frequently, uh, uh, I, I have experienced this error very frequently. This is how it happens. This is how it works. You'll be able to speak in your interview. That That is the reason we uh, practice on this one uh, portal. You can see, remove these few things and try Googling these errors. You will get some answer. Some or the other answer you'll definitely get. Minimize it, do something, and you will get it. Try searching for it. This is how, and see, here it also gives. Please see HTTP. Here, it will give you steps. Then you don't have to go through these steps, or you don't have to do it. I'm not saying you. If you get that error, do it here. Forget it. Check it. You do the next practical. But do this once, so you remember, and you will be able to speak in your interview. Even your interviewer is not going to ask you to do this. But you should remember. You should know. Okay, TK, uh, while doing this, yes, I, I remember there was an error. You should be able to say the error. You should be able to say this. Okay, status was conflict, that there was some error which read as conflict. And when I read the details, it, it says something about not matching the cross IP configuration. Then what did you do? Uh, I, I got a website there in that error message itself, and that, that website advised me to, uh, you know, do these steps for deployment do that for deployment this is something how uh, you can say this is how you can portray your answer you don't have to you know remember step by step they're just trying to understand if you have the uh, approach of uh, solving the issues if you're claiming that you have worked with uh, an implementation team so if you get stuck here what will you do next Let's say that I have given you this task and architecture team has given you this task and they're gone now. It's fine. It's a small task, simple task. Do it. So even if you have to get back to them that you gave something incorrect or just to figure it out that you are uh, doing something incorrect, how will you do it? So you should know that here is the place where you get some options. This is the click where you can click and you can get the error details incomplete. So you can say that when I click here, I see the summary of the error. In summary of the error, I also see a website to visit. This is how you can do it. Is it clear, guys? We are not troubleshooting this error as of now because I told you today we are not doing any practical. If you want, we can keep this here. We can come back and do this, uh, troubleshoot this. Or the better say, thing I would suggest as we had, have we have shifted to weekend batch now, we have plenty of time in weekdays. Try deploying, try doing this, and you will understand it. The moment you get this error, you yourself will go here, click here, check this. You will follow this, and then you will be able to do it successfully. It's a very normal thing to do uh, to get an error. That's completely fine. Even if you're working continuously, you will get some error. No one is expecting you from you to do work without a single error on portal. The only expectation is you should be able to read it. You should be able to uh, counter that error. If if someone is saying, okay, that is fine. See, one was the status was conflict. The other status could be bad request. This you should remember. So you'll be able to say, okay, status mein ye dikhta hai, status mein conflict dikhta hai, status mein bad request dikhta hai. Are you guys getting the point? Yes, guys. Yes, no, maybe. Any confusion? Anyone thinks we should work on this error? 
or you guys think you will be able to fix it. I would say try it. If it is not working for you guys, let me know maybe before the next weekend. Uh, also, we can try a small session. It won't take more than five minutes to resolve this error, but please try to do it at your end. It, and it will see it, it, it won't even give you this option. It will give you the other options also. If you want to deploy it using PowerShell, you can simply just rename this and you don't even have to rename it. If, you, if you're just doing it for the sake of practice, you can copy it and paste it. And that's all you'll be able to create one. But go through this. Unless you go through this, you won't uh, be able to speak in your interview. Just by watching videos and by reading some document, you won't be able to do it. Okay, so now I'm leaving it up to you guys uh, to have this practical. Let me send it to you. Do it, do it however you want. You want to try it with internal. Uh, you want to try it with external. However you want. Just make sure that you do this practical successfully. And if you face any problem or if you think that you're not able to do it or you, you, you need some help, feel free to ping me, feel free to ping in the group. No one will deny, anyone who knows, they will help you. Is it clear, guys? Are you going to do this? Should I send it? Yes, please. Okay. I'm expecting at least you guys will do this one. I'm sending it in the group. Please complete this one. Now let's talk about. I think today we'll not be able to start the hub and spoke. Do you want to see all these in a portal or should I start theory of a hub and spoke? Application gateway traffic manager in front door. Theory, theory. Okay, so let's dedicate today's session for theory. Uh, so one concept we are discussing now is uh, hub and spoke. It is nothing but your virtual network peering, VNet peering. So before we go there, I'll have to revise few. Or I'll ask questions to you guys about VNet peering. Okay, and then I'll come to hub and spoke. And we'll also discuss that why do we need hub and spoke? It's hub and spoke. Somewhere it is, I'm, I'm sure it is written in case you're not able to understand the pronunciation or getting confused with it. Uh, let me show it to you. Here it is. Hub and spoke VNet model. This is what we're talking about. And guys, this is must ask interview question. Trust me on this. Jitne bhi interviews dekhe hain, har ek ne pucha hai iske upar. Hub and spoke, everyone has asked. So do not uh, you know, just take it lightly or ignore it. Make sure you, you read it thoroughly. We do it properly. And if you have any questions, please ask. So before we start hub and spoke, uh, can anyone tell me uh, about VNet peering or what is VNet? The very first question, what is a VNet? Full form and what is it? Anyone, please. Yes, guys, uh, VNet. It's in uh, VNet virtual network is an isolated network in Azure. Great. And peering is uh, VNet peering means uh, if we are uh, connecting two virtual networks uh, of a separate location. Separate location so as that, in? Uh, like, uh, let's say for an example, if there are two VNets, okay. Hmm. Uh, one is in East US and one is in West US. And if we want to connect them, so that can be done by VNet peering. Okay. What kind of VNet uh, peerings do we have? We have two peerings. One is local and one is global. Uh, anyone else? What is the difference between local and global peering? So, so for regional... Are... Hussain, let us, um, someone else answer. Yes, Shristi. Yeah, we do uh, VNet pairing for uh, for regional VNet pairing if the machines are in same region and we do global when machines are in different region. I don't have any machines. I, I have all uh, function services. Okay. What machines are we talking about? 
No, sorry. If the services are in same region or uh, different region, so we use global and uh, regional right. accordingly. Don't go for machines. Don't go for services. It's a virtual network. Simply, if your VNets are in same region, it's local. If these are in different region, global. We are pairing virtual networks, right? So stick to virtual network. What what is there in those virtual network? Let's not discuss that now. Could be virtual machines also. It it wasn't incorrect. I just wanted to highlight your answer. So did that. So specifically use VNets. That if the VNets are in same region, or VNets are in different regions, instead of using surveys or instead of using virtual machines. Clear? Eh? Yes. Now the question is, uh, are these transitive in nature? The VNet pairings are these pairing transitive in nature? You mean when the VNet is created, is it uh, um, able to communicate? Communicate with? Did Did you guys understand transitive? No, what is uh, it transitive? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. What do you mean by transitive? Do Any, anyone mean, who can uh, explain what is a transitive nature of pairing? Or what do you understand by transitive? Transitive and non-transitive. Transitive, does it mean that uh, is it uh, communicate, is able to communicate or something like that? Anyone else wants to try? What is transitive? Uh, it's uh, it's like an effect on something. Like if we do something, it's affecting on something else. Okay, let's discuss that here. Okay. Virtual network, though this is not the correct diagram for virtual network, guys. This is virtual network gateway. I'm not getting the di. Okay, I got it. Here it is. So my this is VNet one I have VNet two ignore the alignments case. But when you see a diagram now from which comes from architect team or which will come from any any other team. You won't say uh, this discrepancies. This is here. This is there, or maybe I, I could write it here, right? Here, text ka place hota hai. So you will see very neat and clean diagram. The, the, everything will not be there. But this is only practice sessions, and I don't want to spend our time on that. Hence, I uh, write when, whichever is easier. I do that. Otherwise, you get a text box here properly. Okay. So this is my VNet, VNet 2, VNet 3, VNet 1, VNet 2, VNet 3. Now we're talking about, uh, and let's say all of them are in East US, okay? Hence I'm not writing it. Or if you want, I can write it. What is the difference between global and uh, regional, by the way, when it comes to practical? Do, do we have to do any extra steps? Yes, anyone can answer. Do I have to do any extra steps for global or uh, in terms of steps I'm talking about, technical steps? You guys already answered it and that is correct. That what is the difference between uh, global and local? I'm talking about the steps. In global, we add the uh, virtual network ID. Amit, difference between local and global configuration. How how do you uh, do the virtual network configuration, or virtual network peering configuration in local, and how do you how do you do it in global? There's no extra step in it, right? Are you asking me or telling me? <laughs> <Because> <laughs> I'm asking the question, same. 
because local and global is just a name given but basically steps are same exactly yes guys whoever answered sorry didn't get it neither or sristi whoever answered no you don't have any extra step uh id submitting id that is optional uh, if you find it it's okay if you don't find your resource you can search it via id also but that has nothing to do you can do it in local also you can do it in global also so when it comes to local and global not a single difference is there all clicks and everything they are same it's just if your uh, virtual networks are based in different uh, regions then th that is uh, called uh, global if they are in same region it's called local peering clear coming back to my question now i have one virtual network v net one v net two i have done this pairing what kind of pairing it is by the way guys oh is it local or global global okay hmm. uh, this is global you're saying right global vnet pi this to have now another pairing i'm doing I'll connect uh, this one. Yeah, this one should be fine. What kind of uh, this uh, pairing it is? Is it global or local? Yes, yes. Is it global or local wind pairing? Local. Local. Mm. So now I have got local VNet pairing and this pairing. So now because I have these uh, these connections in place, now virtual machines which are there in a VNet one or any service for that matter. Okay, I am just saying virtual machine. You can sit, you can consider uh, any service. So virtual machines which are there in VNet one, can they talk to virtual machines which are there in VNet two? this machine can this talk to this machine can these two talk to each other are you talking about vnet or machine or vms uh, VM vms can vnet talk to each other first thing i've done the peering can vnet talk to each other vnet cannot talk to each other Okay, literally, technically, yeah, that's correct. But are they connected? What I meant, are they connected to each other now? Looking at this one, just because I've done the global VNet pairing, do I have to do anything else or they are connected? VNet one, they are connected. VNet, they are connected. So now, machines within them or any service for that matter, are can they communicate with each other? These two machines, can they communicate with each other? Yes they can but uh, isn't we have to allow some ports port is a different thing uh, at os level if you're blocking something that is a different thing connectivity is there or not that is the question connectivity is there okay so it can ping each other forget about other ports i'm not even going into rdp or any other port can they ping each other yes okay uh, even just to, uh, for your knowledge even pinging requires a port icmp ports they need right okay so ping is not something like that which is by default is there even pinging can be blocked but i'm not getting that uh, here and those are os level features we don't need to understand that so these can talk to each other you're saying right now i have a pairing here also this much mach this machine and this machine can these machines talk to each other these two machines i can give the names if you want east us to east, east us they can talk to each other vm1 can talk to vm2 is that's what you guys are saying right which is correct now i have vm3 now the question is can vm1 talk to vm3 
No. VM1, VM3, guys. Can VM1 talk to VM3? Why no? Yes, they can. Yes, yes, they yes, yes, they can. I thought you talked yeah. about VM2 and VM3. VM1 can communicate with Yes, VM3. the next question is about VM2 and VM3. Can VM2 and 3 talk to each other? No. Anyone think yes? Yes, yes. yes. There's, an, there's an option in which if we enable that, I don't remember that. Hmm. In VNet pairing. The uh, I think this is uh, when we use the ID, which I was talking about, is it? it means like when you, so you do the ID. ID or you do it from GUI, the results are same. That's because you are doing okay. the pairing using your uh, resource ID. It's not going to give a different uh, result. So is it if uh, if VNet three is coming? Is it VNet two can communicate with VNet three because VNet three is communicated to VNet one and VNet one is communicated to VNet two? Okay, that would have been case if VNet uh -huh. pairings are transitive in nature. Okay. VNet pairing is not, not transitive trans in nature. That is the uh -huh. reason VM two cannot communicate cannot with VM three. Yes. And Amit, okay. the the uh, feature which you're talking about, right? That is, uh, you're talking about traffic for forwarded traffic. That is a different case. Even if a traffic is coming from here to here, we will not consider the communication between these two. Usme filters lag jayega yahan par. That is still not a, a straight communication. What you're talking about, Amit, is uh, forwarded traffic which you get in a uh, VNet. Right, while creating mm -hmm. VNet. Right. Right. So I don't right. want to confuse you guys, hence I'm not bringing that topic, but because you uh, raised that, I'm just clearing your doubt. That is coming from here to here, but that is still not a straight communication. My my question is still for this one. Can these two talk to each other? Can these two machines or can these two VNets talk to each other? Just because there we have some connectivity, can these two talk to each other? That is my question. So I hope everyone is clear now. That the, these cannot yes, talk to each yes. other. Any anyone who has doubt with this, please let me know. Or did not understand till here, because this is the base of uh, hub and spoke. If you didn't don't understand this, uh, explaining hub and spoke won't make any difference to you. Yes, guys. Anyone has any doubt? What about others? Are you getting it? Hussain, are, yeah. are you guys getting it? Do you have any questions here? No. Okay. Fine. Okay, so this is called non-transitive in nature and VNet pairings are non-transitive in nature. Hence, even if you connect these to this, these two cannot talk to each other. Is it? This is clear. This concept is clear. Let's move to the next one. Now, I want to communicate with, I want all VMs to communicate with each other. What do I have to do for that? Let's say that I have a VM here, uh, sorry, a virtual network here. I'm uh, deleting the existing connections, guys, okay? And let's say that I have these many VMs, irrespective of their uh, region, because global and uh, local doesn't matter much. We have seen that already. Okay. So I have these these many VNets, let's say. Now I want all of them to communicate with each other. How would you achieve that? Is there any way or you will uh, do the connectivity between all of them? Yes, I want all these three to talk to each other. Or let's say that I have this one also, and I have this one also, and I have one here. 
for some reason some business requirement i have and i want all these virtual networks to talk to each other not naming them it will be too much of uh, time taking activity and filhal naming ka koi itna ye hai nahi so what do, what do i have to do to make all these vnets communicate with each other is there any way guys there is no shortcut you guys will have to do the vnet pairing vnet pairing how from this to this vnet pairing Can here vnet pairing here vnet pairing here vnet pairing here though this is not a practical situation no one does that but this is what you guys will have to do vnet pairing here here full a mesh topology you will have to create where everything is connected to everything where you do not have any control all can access all okay, maybe a connectivity here is it clear guys that this is how you will have to do it and they, this is again not all are connected you will have to connect this to this uh this is pending see so you'll have to connect all vnets to each other and then only you will get the connectivity is it clear till here these two co concerns are clear these two points are clear yes 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 no maybe you want me to repeat please ask yes vpn gateways we are still not talking about vpn gateways uh to connectivity we'll come to that irfan yes guys is it clear is these two topics clear to you yes yeah okay now let's discuss about another scenario now i have a scenario that i want uh there's some external communication okay i i have something external uh, maybe uh, a website or something from external a, com a communication is coming uh, from your public ip that public ip should be able to access all virtual networks what comes to your mind how will i do that first thing let's let's uh, stick to only one virtual network i want connectivity from my data center when i say data center it's my uh, on prem data center i'm talking about the one which is physically located in in my premises in my office premises that data center i'm talking about this hangs up more frequently so let's move to switch to paint if that works i'll draw it again there this is my data center okay. uh, for you clarification i'll write my on prem data center okay this is the data center i have i'm running some services in this data center maybe one server i'm running and the back end pool of that server or any anything all other servers are here in azure it could be any cloud in this case we're talking about azure okay uh, so uh, here i have my virtual machine that virtual machine is in in a vnet Let's again vnet one. It is in East US, and here I have my virtual machine. So very first thing, how do I do this connectivity? Because I I have some applications or I have some workloads which require a connectivity between these two. Maybe my users are accessing my users are accessing the data here. My front end application is here. Okay, all my users are accessing that here, but this applications front end card back end and uh, database it is in azure so how will i make this connectivity that is the first thing i want to know yes guys anyone vpn gateway which vpn are we using VPN gateway is the component of a VPN technology, but which VPN are we using? How 
how many types of VPN do we have? Yes, guys, how many types of VPN do we have? VPN topic we have already finished, right? Okay, you're talking about this, uh, sorry. Uh, site VPN. to site or... Yes, site to site. What else? Express what else route we... and uh, VNet to VNet. VNet to VNet. So, VNet to VNet, when does it When do we use VNet to VNet? Within the same tenant. Within the same tenant or could be anything but within Azure, okay? Cloud, I mean. I mean. Which is the other one you said? Side, side to, to side. Side, side to side, kab kaam aata hai? Or Azure to Azure or two different tenant or any cloud. Okay. Matlab yaha par bhi aata hai. Now I have a specific question. I have on-prem data center. Let's assume that this is my on-prem data center. Take okay, this image, the one which I'm displaying here. This is my on-prem data center. I want connectivity from this on-prem data center to my cloud, which VPN is useful? Express route. And express route falls under which one? Is it side to side or what is it? Uh, I think it's under in side to side also we can do like uh, from Azure to on-prem. But it's a side to side VPN. Yeah. It is a side to side and express route. Can I do... Uh, just VPN connectivity between my data center and Azure. Is it possible? Can I do that? Nothing is just, yes. just the way. Just the bandwidth difference will be there. Express route has a higher bandwidth. Okay. So what do you think? I will be able to do the basic VPN. Other than site to site. Let me open the notepad. I hope you guys are getting the question here. Here we have, right? The VPNs we discussed. VNet to VNet, when do we do that? Virtual networks. VNet is as specific as your term. So within this, we do VNet to VNet VPN. VNet pairing is a different thing. We do. We can do the VNet to VNet VPN also, okay? That is one way. Uh, point to side is also there. Point to side to use hota hai? When it's Azure to another provider. No. no, no same computer, uh, if you, uh, we end have a users. single point of contact, end user. End users, when you want to use as your laptop, you want to connect to Azure, that is when you use your, which one? Point to site. This one we practice with installing the uh, certificate and then you get the private IP of Azure and then you are able to RDP the machine without public IP. Do you remember that? I guess you don't. We'll have to repeat that if you guys don't remember. Later we'll do that. Today, let's focus on this. Then we have site to site. Now, what do you mean by site to site? This is my one site and this is my one site. On-prem is my one site. And Azure page mera pro virtual network bana hua hai, that is also my one site. Is it clear? How would you define a virtual network, guys? Once again, whoever explained the virtual network, what is a virtual network? Group of resources. Uh, it's a representation of your own network in the cloud. A logical boundary. Exactly. No, group of resources is incorrect answer. Uh, whoever answered that. Uh, logical boundary is also uh, not complete answer, but yes, it's it's your... It's, it's your space on cloud. It, it is your site on your cloud. So on Azure, there are thousands of companies, right? But I want my private space. So that's what it is. That, that's what it is. Your virtual network. Is virtual network me kisi or ka koi resource nahi hoga. Is virtual network me kisi or ka kisi bhi tarah ka koi access nahi hoga. No one will be able to access it unless you want to create it. See, data centers bhi aisa nahi ke ek hi hota hai. 
company can have two data centers and they can connect those two data centers. But can a third party connect to that, that data center immediately without without company's approval or without their intervention? No. So similarly, you can have one virtual network. This is your space. This is your data center there on the Azure. You can have one, you can have two, you can have multiple. Is it clear that what is a virtual network? Yes, guys, is it clear that what is a virtual network? Now, the question is, I have a front end server here and it's, it's a back end and database. How do I do this connectivity? So the connectivity will do here is either. Obviously, it is a site to site connectivity. Why am I saying site to site? Because these are my sites. Even if it is one, this is my site and these are my sites. And even if it is one, this is called site. Here I have site. If I have one, it is called site. So what am I connecting? Site to site. This is my site to site VPN. Is it clear? Now, what do we, what do we have for site to site VPN? What option do we have for site to site VPN? We have express route. Mostly express route ही होता है. कोई भी VPN वगैरह किसी और तरीका VPN नहीं use होता है when it comes to uh, on-prem data center and cloud site to site सबसे ज़्यादा reliable और ज़्यादातर वही use होता है. Is it clear to everyone? So you, do we use site to site only for uh, on-prem and uh, Azure virtual network connectivity? No, technically you can use it for AWS and Azure also. If you want to connect AWS and Azure, okay. you can have VPN, you can have site to site also. But there, VPN is uh, workable. Wo sab kuch cloud pe hai na, so it's, it's sorted over there. Specifically talking about data center, on-prem data center and your cloud network, it has to be express route. Okay. Clear guys? Now the question is, I want to connect all of these virtual networks. Express route say virtual network to connect ho gaya. Hai. But mera koi data is maybe hai, kuch data yaha par bhi hai, something is there. And this is just a representation of four virtual networks. I have hundred virtual networks. What do I do now? Quickly, guys, only one minute is left. One method could be the one which we saw. I connect this to this. I connect this one to this one. This virtual network to this virtual network. This virtual network to this virtual network. This one to the other one. I hope you're following the diagram, right? It It is a possibility. Technically, it is correct. This will uh, serve my purpose. But what will happen as a result? I don't want these two virtual networks to talk to each other. I'm saying fine. I want everyone all virtual networks to talk to my data center, but I don't want these two virtual networks to talk to each other. So to achieve this guys we will have to use hub and spoke. You're not able to finish it in today's session. Only one minute is left, but I hope it is clear till here. Tomorrow we'll talk about hub and spoke. I'll show you how to place a hub network and then spoke network uh, tomorrow i'll ping you guys we might uh, have to reschedule the time a little bit here and there i'll be traveling so, but I still we'll take the class and i'll ping you the timings and on based okay. on the availability we'll do that okay if you have any questions okay. ping me or, or please do practice uh, the load balancer one see you guys tomorrow that's only one minute hardly a few seconds are left for session to end okay. if you have any questions feel free to ping in the whatsapp group okay Okay, bye. Okay. Thank you.